we are done with case number one in which we performed the nodal analysis when the voltage source was connected between the reference node and the non-reference node and now in this lecture we are going to discuss case number two in which we will perform the nodal analysis when the voltage source is connected between two non-reference nodes and this particular case is known as super node analysis and we will try to understand how to perform super node analysis by the help of this example in this example we are required to find v1 and v2 so let's move on to the solution of the example problem you can see that in this particular network we are having one two three and four nodes but if you look at this branch you will find there is no element in this branch therefore potential at this node will be same as potential at this node so they are the same nodes and hence we have one two and three nodes so this is our step number one in which we identify the total nodes present in the network and the number of nodes in the network is equal to three now we will move on to step number two in which we assign the voltages to the non-reference nodes and we select the reference node and we select the reference node as the bottom node and therefore we will ground this particular point so that the bottom node will have the zero potential and in the question the voltages are already assigned to the non-reference nodes this non-reference node is having the voltage v1 and this non-reference node is having the voltage v2 so we are well done with step number two and now we will move on to step number three in which we will obtain the nodal equations and we obtain the nodal equations for the non-reference nodes and we will begin with this node that is node number one so at node number one we will develop the kcl equation and for that we will first assign the currents in the branches connecting to this particular node and we know while writing down the kcl equation for the node we assume the voltage of the node is the largest and therefore the currents are leaving this node and the sum of these three currents will be equal to zero according to kcl so we will simply add these three currents and then we will equate with zero this current is equal to two amperes so i will write two plus this current is equal to v1 minus zero divided by one so i will write v1 by one plus this current is equal to v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance offered by this branch but we don't know about the resistance offered by this branch therefore we will simply assume the current in this branch is equal to small i so i will write small i here and the sum is equal to zero let's call this equation number one now we will obtain the kcl equation at node number two and at node number two these are the currents leaving this current is equal to minus i because i is the current moving in this direction and this current is moving in this direction opposite to the direction of i so this current will be equal to minus i this current is equal to v2 minus 0 divided by 1 so i will write v2 by 1 and this current here is equal to v2 minus 2 divided by 1 why v2 minus 2 because here the potential will be equal to 2 volts why because this is the point of high potential and this is the point of low potential here the potential 
is equal to 0 volt so potential at this point let's say v prime minus potential at this point that is the low potential point is equal to the potential difference 2 volts so we are getting v prime equal to 2 volts we have done this many times therefore this is nothing new and the sum will be equal to 0 according to KCL this is our equation number 2 now we will add equation number 1 and equation number 2 this will give us 2 plus v1 by 1 plus i minus i plus v2 by 1 plus v2 minus 2 by 1 equal to 0 plus i and minus i will cancel out so we are getting 2 plus v1 over 1 plus v2 over 1 plus v2 minus 2 over 1 equal to 0. Now we are going to understand what is super node and how to perform the super node analysis. Therefore, listen very carefully. We can simply neglect this particular branch having the voltage source between two non-reference nodes and when we do this we can assume this node and this node as one single node known as super node so we will have something like this one single node having potential v1 for these two branches and having potential v2 for these two branches now you can see that this branch is connected to this node so we are having one branch connected and then we have this branch connected to this node after this we have this branch connected to this node then this branch is connected to this node so four branches are there connected to our super node and we have neglected this branch now we will apply KCL to this super node the currents will leave the super node and the sum of all the four currents will be equal to zero so let us quickly write down all the four currents and then we will add them and finally we will equate them with zero this current we have already calculated is equal to 2 amperes therefore we will write 2 then we will focus on this current that is this current here it is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 1 so v1 by 1 plus we will focus on this current this one here v2 minus 0 divided by 1 so v2 by 1 plus this current that is this current in this particular diagram it is equal to v2 minus 2 divided by 1 v2 minus 2 divided by 1 and the sum is equal to 0 now compare this equation with this equation and you will find they are same the two equations are same and therefore there is no need to write down the KCL equations separately for two non-reference nodes having one voltage source between them you can simply neglect the voltage source and any other branch connected and then have a super node and from the super node you can have the equation which is the simplified equation now we will make some rearrangements and we will write this equation as v1 plus 2 times v2 equal to 0 let's call this equation number 3 now we will obtain our fourth equation because here we have two variables and we have only one equation why i'm telling you there is only one equation because these two equations are combined to give us equation number three so we need one more relation between v1 and v2 
and we can have the relation from the branch we removed while forming the super node. We will apply KVL starting from this node and ending at this node. It will give us V1 minus 1 equal to V2. V1 minus 1 equal to V2 or we can write V1 minus V2 equal to 1. Let's call this equation number 4. Now we will subtract equation number 4 from equation number 3 3 minus 4 and this will give us 3 times v2 equal to minus 1 so v2 is equal to minus 1 over 3 and v1 will be equal to 2 over 3 so this is our answer and the unit will be volts so I hope you now understand how to perform the super node analysis and in the coming lecture we are going to solve one more problem on super node analysis and there the concept will become more clear.